welcome back viewers in today's video we are going to check out a new desktop it is uh, looking similar to the common desktop environment that we have checked out earlier so this desktop is called not so common desktop environment so these two desktops though looking same are targeted at very different systems the cd desktop is targeted for the very antique old systems say 15 years, 20 years, 25 years old systems, it will work very fine. While this NSGD desktop is targeted for more modern systems. So if you want to have a retro look on your modern systems, you can use the NSCDE. So we will uh, check this out today. So this is how the desktop of the NSCDE looks like. It looks very similar to the CDE, but only the looks are same otherwise the bottom functionality the base system is quite different so here we have opened up the page of the github uh, nscd so this is the nscd page of the github so here you can get all the documentation for the nscd desktop as well as the packages so you can directly download the packages of the nscd desktop and then you can compile it on your system and you can use the nscd desktop on your modern system so it is meant for the modern systems with a retro look. So you can have a retro look on your modern systems. So here some screenshots are here. You can check out those screenshots. Some video presentations are also available. So now let us start with the introduction. So NSCD is a retro but powerful Unix desktop environment which resembles CDE look and partially feel but with a more powerful and flexible framework beneath the surface more suited for the 21st century unix like and unix systems and user requirements than the original cde so it is meant for the modern systems as i told you earlier nscd can be considered as a heavyweight fvwm theme on steroids so this is a window manager fvwm is a window manager theme on steroids but combined with a couple of other free software components and custom F, uh, FVWM applications and a lot of configuration. NSCD can be considered a lightweight hybrid desktop environment. So in other words NSCD is a heavy FVWM uh, app user. It consists of a set of FVWM applications and configuration enriched with Python and shell background drivers couple of additional free software tools and applications and FVWM version 3 is also supported. Visually NSTD mimics CDE, the well-known common desktop environment of many commercial Unix systems of the 90s. It supports the CDE backdrop palettes with FVWM color sets and has a theme generator for XT, XAW, Motif, GTK2, GTK3, QT4 and the QT5 also. So it is very modern in design integrating all these bits and pieces the user gets a retro visual experience across all x11 applications so it is uh, running with the x11 uh, display server enriched with a bunch of powerful fpwm concepts and functions modern applications and font rendering the nscd acts as a link between the classic cd look and the fast extensible environment well suited for the modern day computing NSCD can be integrated into existing desktop environments as a FVWM window manager wrapper for session handling and additional desktop functionality. So FVWM many people uh, are, uh, are not choosing the window managers because window managers have some limited uh, functionality. So you can use NSCD as a wrapper over the FVWM window manager. So it will give some additional uh, functionalities and features. NSCD is designed for Unix oriented users and generally technical persons and not as something for general public use or for introducing beginners to a Linux or some other Unix like system. So here you can see lot of things are more given i will not go in uh, further detail so now here it is uh, telling us why nscd should be preferred all those things you can also read i will just uh, leave a link of this web page in the video description now what we will do is 
we will go over to the components of nscd so nscd consists of seven main facilities extensive fwm configuration and customization fwm script uh, gui programs gtk2 and gtk3 theme based on pixmap engine there is icon theme is available python programs and cron shell scripts miscellaneous pieces for integration like css for firefox and thunderbird integrated free software components for the desktop environment task so the central driver for the nscd desktop is the fwm window manager and nscd is installed by default in user local nscd root but it can be re relocated to any installation path during the pre installation configuration so it is very highly configurable so now what we will do is let us go over to the virtual machine so we have a sparky linux virtual machine already running i have already opened the aptos app center now we have to install this so the nscd desktop can be found in the desktop sections here the desktop section you go down at the bottom row left side of the bottom row you find the nscd desktop so you have to just click on it it is very easy to install so you can see the download size is just one uh, 1828 bytes install size is 32.8 kb so you have to just install so i think total 71.9 uh, 71 mb of additional disk space will be used so it is very light so you have to say yes to the installation so the installation is uh, shouldn't happen let us try it again because i was um, uh, doing some experiments with this virtual machine so that's why so there is some issue let us try to reinstall i think now it is no it is not happening so what i will do is i will just uh, go over to the desktops let us see what happens i will do it once again or what we can do is it is already installed okay so the package is already installed so now what we will do is we will have to log out from this is a kde session so i will have to log out or we can better is we restart the system so that is a better option always because any new installation requires a reboot i hope everything has gone properly installation is done properly here you can see nscd is now available so click on that input your user password and you should be logged into the nscd desktop so we are now logged it into the nscd desktop so there are some pre configuration steps to be done but since i had tried this uh, desktop on the same virtual machine beforehand so the configuration steps have already been done otherwise you will have to do some five six uh, con configuration step you have to just say yes 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 and the desktop will be installed so this is the bash shell of uh, the ns cd desktop just like the cd desktop you find the clock here it is a simple clock then this is the calendar so you can open the mozilla firefox you can open the calendar also the okay so you have to enable and edit the calendar fpwm function in your home sam okay so it is not working right now let us see if the yes the file manager is working so it is a simple file manager can see here everything is working the network uh, access is also there so you will have to configure the network access so you can access files on another uh, system using bluetooth what is this uh, this is a remote desktop and i think uh, remote or network connected desktop and what is this this is an mtp device so your android device can also be ac accessed from the file manager so that's great so all the functionality of a modern desktop is there available you can see here it is available in this uh, nscd desktop it is meant for modern systems but it provides a retro look that's it so now i will close this so the control buttons are at the 
left hand side this is the what we say the path of or the web browser we can open multiple links let us try to open multiple links let us see how the desktop functions it is overloaded or what we have to just open different links available at the bottom so here you can see around five uh, four or five tabs are working quite fine even six is also good there is no issue and i can go and maybe type something more yes youtube also so six seven tabs everything is working fine there is no issue but now i will close this or maybe there is uh, okay so i think uh, i can close this what is this okay so this is the terminal here you can change the functionality of the terminal you can remove the icon for the, any of the you can remove this you can reset the sub panel you can delete the sub panel so each item is a sub panel in the main panel so this is how it is uh, designed and these are the workspaces here in the center this is the printer manager so you can configure your printer settings here what is this this is the style manager you can change the different styles so what i will do is i will minimize this let us minimize this and we continue to check the system functionality with heavy load of application so let us check out the color palette so right now the blue shades is there let us check out. change over to the autumn let us see what happens yes it is working fine let us change the fonts now let us go for the cantarel bold let us see what happens i think this will require a restart okay so i think it is now working no right now i will not change it but uh, you can change uh, restart and check out whether it works or not i will not do it now let us see the background right now this background is there okay so now let us check out the wallpapers so this is the style manager backdrop backdrop is nothing but the wallpaper you can change over the wallpapers so now you have to apply this wallpaper looks uh, very very good i like this wallpaper looks very nice let me close this so this is looking very nice i really like this wallpaper now let us open uh, let us try this art deco this is also very nice looking you can go with the uh, bell flower flowers this is also very nice wallpaper so you got a lot of wallpapers are there to choose from i have shown you just four or five now let us check out the so here you can configure your keyboard so the start delay repeat delay click volume all those things we have already shown you in the cd desktop so most of the things are set i will not uh, go in very detail i have shown you everything in detail so this is the mouse uh, settings the beep settings that is system sounds what is screen i think this is the screen saver yes this is the screen saver uh, preferences so you can go with anything let us go with this one is good so i will keep this one so now i will close this then you have got this window decorations or styling of the windows we'll dismiss this these are the desks so you can configure the workspaces from here then there is this power management so error incompatible exit tool detector there is no dpms functionality okay so maybe because of this virtual machine it is not working properly startup nscd appears not to be running under the x session manager okay now anything more to be seen here there is uh, what is this 
to check out displaying the yes nscd document just like the cd documentation you can check out the nscd documentation by clicking on this rightmost uh, icon on the panel and i think there is this uh, what is this let us check out okay so these are the programs that are installed so you can directly access the program links you can click on this and it will open up the program for example let us see here uh, the complete LibreOffice suite is available so LibreOffice base calculator math impress draw writer and the ocular document viewer is also there so this is a heavily loaded in other uh, cd uh, desktop all this uh, complete suite was not there here it is there i think so this is heavily loaded desktop looks retro and uh, cool and looks very light works also very light but it is heavily loaded all the applications that are expected from a modern day desktop is available there so i will now close this let us open i think this is a yes so the vlc media player and the g1 view is available volume control so you have got uh, tab for playback recording output devices input devices and the configuration of the volume control so it is just like any modern day system uh, all full functionality is available for the volume control so you can check out the documentation here after you install the nscd desktop and get logged in so better to always read all this so here everything is given how to do the configurations for the fpwm window manager how to change the fonts color sets backer backdrops everything all all the things necessary for a new user is given here so i, I cannot go in all these details i will uh, now what i will do is i will just stop the video i think and check out if something is pending otherwise there is nothing more to be done it is a very fantastic uh, retro looking modern day uh, desktop environment light but very capable you see seven eight tabs firefox was open the bash was open we started the style manager we checked out the style manager some more applications like the printer settings the media player the every, all other things uh, we're opening up everything was working fine and yes one thing that is pending is okay so this is the bash again sorry i think this is the email client let us check out the email client so you can check your email from here so email client is there it should open up okay so it is opening yes so the mozilla thunderbird is there so complete Mozilla Thunderbird is there. So I told you it is a modern day desktop just looks retro. Otherwise it is quite capable to handle all modern day applications. So that's great with that. I will stop the video here. See in the next video. We will check out some more desktops that are available in Sparky Linux. So be with me during the course of the new desktop reviews. See you in the next video. Bye.